Today I'm going to show you how to make this snowman placement. What you'll need for it is holy sugar and cream um, in black. White, obviously I don't have a lot left. And hot orange for the carrot nose. You'll also be using a size H crochet hook or size H8 or 5 millimeters. Um, feel free to use whatever you feel is comfortable. That's what I'm using for my video. Little pair of scissors. And at the end, a little um, sewing needle to attach your pieces. All right, I hope you enjoy. Hi guys, so if you'd like to add this optional little um, hat coaster that I've kind of just thrown in the video, um, stay tuned at the end of the video to see how to make it. Starting our snowman in white, we're gonna make a magic circle or magic ring. And do it however you guys learn to do it. I do mine a bit differently. We'll chain two. This will not count as our first stitch. I'm going to tighten up my circle. All right, now we're going to go ahead and make 12 double crochets in our magic circle, magic ring. Alright, I shouldn't use that. <laughs> I'm using a bowl, so it's kind of noisy. Alright. So we've got <clears throat> five so far. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So now joining here on the top of our first double crochet, chain two, and you're going to want a two double crochet in each stitch around, so you should end with 24 stitches. Oops. I already forgot two in every single stitch around. And we're going to join to the top of our first double crochet again. Chain two. From now on, we're going to work one double crochet in the same stitch that we joined, and then two double crochets in the next one double crochet in the next one and two double crochets in the next and work that all the way around doing the one two one two one two okay so we got one in our first stitch my yarn just keeps wanting to hang out two in our next stitch one Two, one in our next stitch, two in our next stitch, one, 
two. And repeat this all the way around here. All right, so once you've reached the end of your round, you'll join the top of your um, first double crochet, the slip stitch, chain two, and now, like before, we're just gonna be um, adding an increase, but now we're gonna do it every two stitches. So you go, or sorry, every three stitches. So we're gonna want to do a a double crochet in our first stitch, a double crochet in our second stitch, and two double crochets in our third stitch. So the pattern will be one, one, two, all the way around. So just to show you, do a double crochet, one double crochet, and now two double crochets. So again, one, one, and two. And just like before, we're going to repeat that all the way around until we get back to our first stitch. Alright, so once you reach the end of your row, you're just going to go ahead and join with a slip stitch to your first double crochet. You'll chain two. And now for this row, we're going to do um, a double crochet in the next three stitches and then an increase in our fourth stitch. Okay, so double crochet. In our first stitch, double crochet. In our next stitch, double crochet. In our third stitch, and we're going to go ahead and do two double crochets in our fourth stitch. Okay. Oops, got some yarn vomit going on in here. All right, repeat that one more time for you. Double crochet in our first stitch, double crochet in our second stitch, double crochet in our third stitch, and two double crochet in our fourth. Okay. So go ahead and repeat that all the way around and we'll meet back at the end. I think you're kind of getting the pattern now, but I'll still keep going. So basically, at the end of our row, we're going to join with a slip stitch, chain two. We're going to be doing four singles before we do our double. The last row was one, two, three, er, sorry, not singles. <laughs> We're going to be doing one, two, three, four double crochets and then our increase. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, one double crochet in our first stitch, one double crochet in our next, one double crochet in our third. One double crochet in our fourth and two double crochets in our fifth. Hear that grunting my son's in the background drinking it on his little milk. Alright, so repeating that again. One double crochet. Flip my yarn there. Two double crochets. Yeah, you squeak in. Three double crochets. 
four double crochets and our increase. So we're doing two and one stitch. All right, we got that. Now repeat that all the way around. You'll do one, two, three, four double crochets and then five and six in the same stitch. Just repeat that all the way around. All right, so we should have six rows here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna go ahead, join to our first double crochet, the slip stitch, chain two. And just like before, we're just gonna add one more stitch as we go along. We're gonna double crochet one, two, three, four, five, and then do our increase our two double crochets in six. Double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, that's five, and two in this one, so six, and seven. Got one, two, three, four, five doubles and an increase. Do that again. One, two, three, four, five. And work our increase, so two in this one. One, two. Now you're just going to go ahead and repeat that all the way around again. Okay, so now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. At the end of our seventh row, I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the top of our first double crochet chain two and now you're going to do six um sorry double crochet in the next six and then you do your increase so one two three my yarn's catching up with me four Five. Sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and our increase. So one and two. And again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, so our increase in that one. So repeat that all the way around. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, and two in the seventh. And I'll see you back at the end. All right, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows now. Going to be joining to the first double crochet with a slip stitch. Chaining two, if you hear my kids in the background, I apologize, they're playing together. So we're going to do um, seven now, double crochets before we increase. So, one, two, three, four, 
four, five. I hear you playing right next to me. Six, seven. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're doing our increase. So eight and nine in the same spot there. We've got a grand. again. One. Oops, got to tilt down a little more. There we go. Two. Got Donkey Kong in the shot. <laughs> Three. Four. Five. Seven and our two in one spot here. So eight and nine in one spot. Eight, nine. All right, guys, pretty easy. Just follow along until we get back to the beginning again. All right, so we've just finished our ninth row. So we're going to go ahead and join at the top of our first double crochet, chain two, and repeating the same pattern as always, we're going to do eight doubles, or sorry, one double crochet in the next eight stitches, and then do our two double crochets in one stitch. So one, Seven, eight, and now two in the same stitch. One, two. And you're just going to repeat that across. And you're just going to repeat that all the way across and around. Alrighty. So we are going to continue on. We should have 10 rows now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Make sure I didn't forget where I'm at. Pretty big. All right. Going to go ahead and join again. Oops. The top of our crochet. Chain 2. This time we're going to be doing 9 double crochets before our increase. So, one, two, three, four, five, whoops, split my yarn there. Six, seven, eight, nine. 
there's 9 and now we do our increase. So 10 and 11 are in the same stitch here for our increase. 10 and 11 or 1 and 2. Okay, kind of got it. Same as we've been doing all along. Just keep going all the way around. So we've got about 11 rows now. And it comes out to be about 12 inches across. Um, depending on your crochet styles, it might be slightly smaller or larger. So figure out if you want to add more rows, but I'm going to do mine at 12 inches there. So I'm going to connect to my first double crochet with the slip stitch and go ahead and cut my tail and finish off. All right. Now we are going to begin the eyes for our snowman. So we're set that to the side here. Uh, with our black yarn, we're going to go ahead and find our find our center. Just wrap the rest of the yarn barf around. All right. So making our magic ring. Pretty much going to do the first um, two rows of the snowman that we did before. So you want to chain two. You can hear my little little man over there making noise. All right, we're gonna do twelve double crochets in our magic ring. see well in black. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, get our tail in the way there. Oh, push it to the side here. Ten, Eleven and twelve. We'll make sure we got twelve there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Join to the first double crochet with a slip stitch. Tighten up our ring. We're going to chain two. Wow, that sheds a lot of black fuzzies. <laughs> All right, chain two and go ahead and two double crochet. Oops, keep shedding my yarn here. Double, two double crochets in each stitch across. Her around, I should say. Hi! My little man's trying to get over to the camera. He's like, hey, hey, mom. <laughs> See if I edit that out later. I think it's so cute. He's on his way to Seema.
And now it pulls in the middle finally. Should have 24 all the way across. Alright, if you see my yarn right here, you can tell I changed my mind on my size. We're just going to do two rows for the eyes. It's okay to have all of your loopy sticking out because it'll just be sewing it onto your piece. So we'll join with a slip stitch. Leave a long enough tail. That should be good. Two, sew on to your snowman. This will be our first eye. I'm going to go ahead and take this piece of white yarn here and just make a cute little twinkle in his eye. You can sew this in if you'd like. I'm just gonna kind of pull it in with my hook. I don't have my needle on me. There. Give him a little twinkle for his eye. Tie that on there. All right, and then you're going to want to make two eyes for his face. Okay. Go ahead and make two of these to sew on to your snowman. Try to bring it down here so you can see. I'm gonna make two eyes for your snowman. All right, you're gonna want to make five little pieces of coal, and all you're gonna do is the first row to what we've been doing the whole time. So, doing your magic ring, chain two, and working 12 double crochet in your magic ring. Six, seven, eight. Message for you, son. Part of my phone. <laughs> Nine, ten. Eleven and twelve. Okay, so there's twelve there. Tighten up 
your magic circle center there. Join with a slip stitch to your first double crochet. That's all we're going to do for his little coal mouth pieces. Alright, so make five of these. Leave a long tail, of course, to sew onto your piece. And make five of these guys. And we'll see you back when we're done. Alright, so we are working on the snowman's nose now. And I started the same way I started my eyes or even the beginning of um, the entire placemat. Just do the first row, 12 double crochets in a magic chain. The second row, 24. So you're putting two in each. And then now to make more of our carrot shape, we're going to go ahead and join with a slip stitch, chain two. Then we're going to go ahead in the next two here, we're going to double crochet two together. So insert our hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's like half of one. Go into our next stitch, insert a hook, yarn over, pull up a loop pull through two, so you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all all three of you are my son in the background, sorry, he's playing some Mario alright, so you're going to want to double crochet in the next four so one two Three, four. Sorry, my yarn came with me because I've already done this before. I decided to film it. All right, so the next two, we're gonna go ahead and do another double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert a hook, yarn, pull. Bleh. Okay, <laughs> start that over. Yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull out of the stitch, yarn over, pull through our middle two. So have two loops on our hook, yarn over, go into our next stitch, yarn over, come out, yarn over, pull through two loops, you should have three, yarn over, and pull through all three. Alright. Sorry. Yarn's all over the place. Alright, chain two. Flip our work, yarn over, and we're going to do, um, sorry. We're going to go ahead and do two double crochets together again. So if you remember it for me and my word vomit before. There, there's two together. Okay. Now you're going to want to double crochet in the next two stitches. And the last two stitches, since we're not going to be counting the chain stitch. You're going to want to double crochet two together. Alright. Kind of see it taking shape now. Chain two. Rotate your work, yarn over, and do two together. Yarn over and do in the next two stitches, double crochet two together again. Oops, making a mess. There we go. Okay. Then we're going to chain two and rotate our work. And you're going to crochet the last two together. Go ahead and leave yourself a long tail for sewing it onto your work. And here is our carrot nose. Alright, so if you've done all of that so far, you should have a cute little snowman kind of ready to put together. 
don't know if you can see them all in here. Cute little snowman placemat. Now all that's left to do is put him together and show you what he looks like when I've got him all together. You're gonna be cute. All right, I'll see you when I have it all together. So here is our finished snowman placemat. Oops, got it stuck on the ball. That's what it should look like when it's all stitched together or if you can change up the pattern any way you want to make it how you like it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye! Hi guys, so now we're going to make this um, small little just uh, hat coaster, nothing fancy if you want to add with your placemat. And I'm just going to be using the sugar and cream uh, in black and lily sugar and cream in red. Oh, I think it's red. Yep, red. And if not, you can also use orange from the nose again in the hat if you don't want to buy a whole new red for just the hat. I'm still going to be using the size H hook, a small scissors, and a sewing needle. And I'm also using a um, little measure thing, like Crochet Dude, little tape measure. Um, just kind of a guideline for making coaster. You kind of want it to be about three and a half to four inches around. So I've got three and a half, it looks like closer to for my coaster and you guys can make yours bigger however you'd like I just thought it'd be a cute little thing to add with the placemat because I did make a smaller placemat I made a little 12 inch guy um, I didn't do a big 15 so normally you don't put your um, cup also on a coaster that small so I mean sorry you're, you don't put your cup on a placemat that small so I made a coaster to add to it. So, hope you guys enjoy and I'll go ahead and make the hat now. Hello lovelies. So it's kind of last minute. I decided I'm going to add maybe a hat for a coaster. We'll see how this works out. So, oops, I'm starting normal. So with a slip knot, Add to our hook. We're gonna go ahead and chain 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Skipping the first two, go ahead and double crochet in the third chain from the hit, uh, the from the hook, and all the chains across. So you should have 18 double crochets. One. Two. Sorry. <clears throat> Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine.
10. Seventeen, eighteen. 18 I hear that gurgling sorry about that it's our heaters in the apartments all right we're gonna be chaining two and we're going to double crochet all the way across Um, chain two doesn't count, so just double crochet in the first stitch here. Right here, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the tail finish off and we'll be joining with the red or if you want you can use the orange again from the nose if you don't want to go in by a new color oops I think I'm making a mess all right here here's my red I made a mess We're gonna go ahead and make another slip knot. <clears throat> We're just gonna join, skipping our first two stitches. So joining on the third. We're just gonna join with a double crochet right off the bat. Or you can join with a, a slip stitch and a chain two. It's up to you. I'm just gonna go ahead and start with double crochets. And you're going to want to double crochet in 14 stitches, leaving two on each side. So this is three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sorry, I'm that the way. Thirteen. And 14. Don't finish your 14th stitch because we're going to switch colors here. So you should have two left. Two stitches left that we didn't use on each side. Go ahead and snip our end here. For a coaster size. Whoops. We're going to join with our black. You can go ahead and... Um, Weave in your ends, or I like to just make a half a knot here, just to hold it till I hide the ends. 
go ahead and chain two and we're going to work double crochets across this side. Sorry, I'm moving the camera. Chain two, we're gonna work up the next side. And basically keep going until you have your little top hat for your snowman. <clears throat> Alright, so at four rows, looks like we have our three and a half inches. So if you think that's a cute size, go ahead and cut it off here or you can do a row or two more. I'm going to finish mine here. And then we're going to go ahead and quickly hide our tails. Alright guys, so this is your little hat coaster. So if you want an optional small hat, it's kind of just hang out and be a coaster up there. That's what we've made. So thanks again for watching just this little coaster part and I'll see you guys later. Bye!